Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about like whether to apply for jobs, whether to apply for startup jobs. So like before going to video, I like to share my own experience, guys. So before like three months ago, I was in dilemma, dilemma situation, so especially my third year. So even I didn't get sleep properly, guys. So I was thinking about my life. So I don't know like which direction to wear, but I know like I have like plenty of options. But I was like thinking about like which direct, direction to choose, whether to go for higher studies, whether to go for like jobs, whether to apply for starters, whether to start my own company. So I've been like little dilemma so even i didn't get sleep guys so i know like especially if you're a tourist and you're having the same situation right now as me so like, i want to share like few advice a few tips which have been like implemented in my life guys so let's get in the video so the first thing guys so as you know like jobs so in jobs there are different kind of assets the first one will be like high paying job the second one will be like the people who won't be like paying about like market job so let's say if you're working for continuously they won't be like paying like enough salary so that they like you have like different kind of assets in jobs. So let's say example guys, so working for TCS, you're working for a some startups like Zoho and some startups like um, Cred. So you have like lots of different orders of so TCS. So it's like a top MNC company. Your job will be like, we don't know like what job status, will be, but when compared to Zoho and Cred, those kind of companies, your job is secure and even it will be like, you might be getting like a decent amount of salary compared to TCS guy. Even the like workload will be like, more like compared to like uh, the startups and like uh, the TCS company. So one thing in TCS guide, you will really like having a permanent job. So let's say in startup, we don't we don't know like when startup will be going to like wash up. So sometimes even so I have been like seeing some few startups. Even I work for a startup in my third year. So where they've been like just open a startup for seven months. After seven months, they've been like close the startup. So we don't know about startup. But when it comes to TCS kind of company, your job will be permanent. But I don't know whether salary will be like up to the mark. So even workload will be more compared to like these companies. So these are the main difference, guys. So even and when come to TCS, you have Infosys, Wipro, you have like so many companies. So these are the like top MNC companies, but workload will be like hectic for the, uh, the employees working for there. So even like uh, in recent times, I've been like contact with my few of my seniors who have been selected in the top MNC companies. They always say, they always used to say one thing, guys. They have been like no timeline, though they used to work and day and night. Even lockdown period, they have been like giving works on like even on like weekends. So they didn't even getting off in those companies, guys. So the main difference like I just want to share with you. Let's say if a person like you have like financial things, so you have like a work, looking for some kind of financial thing, if your family is not about like afford to like uh, all the things which have been like running behind four years education, then I would like, I would like to say that you just definitely you need to try it for a lot like big MNC. So why? Because like in startups, like we won't be getting like good amount of salary. We won't be getting like job security over there. But in top MNCs, like you'll be getting like great amount of salary. But even like great MNC companies, it depends on the talent guys. So if you have like good talent, you will get like good amount of salary over there. But if you're not aware like latest technology, latest kind of things guys, you won't be getting great salary. So let me share one example guys in this uh, circumstance. So I had a talk in recent times, one of my younger brother, like uh, my brother like who like who have been like working in TCS from last 10 years I guess so he always used to say one thing guys so in top MNC companies so if you're not aware of latest technology you won't be like finding place in the company guys let's say if you're working in a mark if you're working in a digital marketing field that company so if you're not aware of like, latest technology tools like SEOs all the kind of keyword tools you won't be like finding place in the company whereas in startups whereas in startups like Cred and all these OHO companies where like you will be getting like great time to loan the things and even like uh, employers like or, like CEOs of the company will be giving time to loan all the things for free or free of cost guys whereas compared to like high paying like top MNC companies they won't be giving time so even the thing is a top MNC won't be getting time to like to learn new things so that's the main drawback which I observed in like the top MNCs compared to startups guys so this is the first thing like I would I would like to share with you the second thing work pressure so both the sides have like both the advantages guys so even in startup you'll be having deadlines even in MNC you'll have deadlines like uh, deadlines but thing is that missing that in startups you'll be having like good amount of time to work on like certain problem statements when compared to MNCs you need to work like behind the leads behind the managers you need to focus on them you need to like follow all the things which have been like telling the managers so it's a kind of ethic so I know like I didn't have experience of the handling but I got in, I used to get inputs from my uh, cousins and like few of my seniors they always used to say like it's kind of hectic to manage all the tasks which have been assigned for the managers so even sometimes the managers of the 
certain branches will be rude certain branches will be like friendly but all de depends on like the which company you are going to apply which company you want to place even like branch matters a lot but when it comes to startups so you won't be having like, many branches in startups you will be having only head office main office so in my experience i would like to say like yeah, i have worked on like uh, six internships until now in my three years of college life so where like even the founder will be like working with us so you can able to interact with the founder directly you can share all the ideas with the founder so in case who knows like your idea get might be like uh, impressive for the founder so you might be getting shareholder from stack stack from the project guys this is the best advantage of working in a startup compared to like big emergencies now the final thing guys so i almost covered all the points in the previous like uh, previous two steps but the final thing is the financial assets so i don't like you what financial assets your parents are working for i don't know like your family background but let me say one example guys if your family is like uh, getting loan for a four years of education of engineering life even if you are doing some arts kind of course then i would like i would recommend you to go for at least two years in the top mnc's so reason because you know like in top mnc's you will be getting like payment on time you will be getting like good amount of salary in in first two years so you can able to, even if job is secure in top mnc's guys so if your family is like kind of financial thing i would always recommend you to work for at least one year and like get experience of them and like use your experience apply for startup guys so one more test case guys so if you are in college so you might be like not getting any kind of exposure in like kind of things so those kind of people i always recommend you to go for startups so as yes, guys so in your college like you won't be getting any work experience so if you didn't work for any internships so i always recommend you guys go for in the startups guys because in startups you'll get like great work experience you can work all can different fields so let's say if you're working as a web developer so you, you can work as a web developer but apart from web developer you can able to contact you can able like touch with like the app development application developments you can you can work with design feel even even you can talk with the uh, marketing team so you will get like all kind of assets in the startups guys compared to like top mnc jobs so there's a main difference which i observed in these two companies guys so even like i've been like trying go to have interviews with like uh, the few people who have been placed in like top mnc top startups so i'll try to make sure videos on like uh, happen on like uh less time guys let's see they have been like busy with their work so let's see i will be contacting i've been touch with them so if i get like uh, appointment of them them i'll definitely shoot the video with them guys so that you will get like great experience of the those people so these are the things which i observe like uh versus jobs versus startups so jobs so i hope this will help you guys so even i'll try to shoot like three more videos so after getting inputs from like those people i'll try to make three more videos guys that's it from today's video guys i hope this video was pretty pretty useful for you If you like the video click on like button and do subscribe guys it keeps motivation for do more videos that's it from today's video guys we'll meet soon